What's up guys? Back to the vlogging today. I've been really bad about vlogging, I know. Just, uh, I don't know, I've been feeling kind of down in the dumps these uh, last week or so. I've uh, been doing a lot of, uh, 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 my schedule's been changing a lot, pretty much. Uh, some nights driving, uh, some some days driving in the daytime, some, some uh, days driving at night, so... Uh, it's been kind of hard to uh, catch a full vlog and stuff with the uh, schedule that's been so crazy. So, uh, But anyways, back to the vlog today. Today I've got a load picking up at the Tyson plant in Perry, Iowa. And uh, dropping off at another Tyson plant in Ottawa, Illinois. Just pulling into the Tyson plant right now. And... Uh, Gonna pick up this load, scale it out. I'm definitely gonna scale this one out. I know there's open scale uh, truck stops with scales along the way, real close to here. So, and every time I've picked up out of here, it's been I don't know 43, 40, and 43,000 pounds. But gotta go check in right there, get my paperwork, drop this trailer off, pick up the loaded one, and get the heck out of here. I feel like I gotta tell you guys something about these. Uh, these slaughterhouses, you know, Tyson, Purdue, whatever else, Oscar Mayer, maybe, I don't know. This is pretty much every slaughterhouse I've ever been to. Uh, now, the poultry ones are by far the worst. I don't know what it is about poultry, chickens, and turkeys, and crap. But uh, so here's a pork one, and uh, it smells pretty damn terrible. And uh, just to give you guys a, an idea of what it smells like um, I guess it would I guess uh, I could compare it to maybe uh, a dead chicken dead rotting chicken thrown into a fire that a sumo wrestler just took a poop in that's what it smells like pretty much maybe worse so just uh, pause the video here and uh, just bask in that that mental image for a few minutes and then come back. All right, just picked up the load here. Actually, this is the lightest load I've ever picked up out of this Tyson. 36,000 pounds, 36, 317. Pork ribs, spare ribs, pork shoulder butt. Mm-hmm, <laughs> who's hungry? I just stopped here in Davenport, the pilot, uh, to get some fuel for the truck and the reefer. Uh, about, I don't know, 120 miles away. And uh, just remember, when you're pulling a reefer, it has to be full of fuel, or I think most places the rule is uh, it's got to be at least three quarters of a tank or uh, more to drop the trailer. So keep that in mind. Actually, I'm about to take off down the road here. And I want to talk uh, about something here that happened a few days ago with, uh, I'm sure, what is a used-to-be subscriber of mine now. So I'm about to put you guys up on the dash and the GoPro and uh, do a little driving footage while talking. All right guys, something I did kind of want to talk about. It's uh, something that happened uh, a few days ago. Uh, like I said, one of, uh, I'm sure not one of my ex subscribers or, or if he's not, he's definitely one of my thumbs down men. Every video, every video I've got two people every time thumbs down my videos which hey that's cool do your thing doesn't negatively affect my video whatsoever and, you know, if you don't like it hey I, uh, I'll try to do better next time you know? but uh, no this person uh, I thought he was uh, a friend of mine didn't know him for too long know him uh, pretty much just off of YouTube he uh, started calling me up and stuff, and asking me questions about being an owner operator and whatnot. Kind of called me more and more frequently, and I started calling him, and even uh, got him to come to old KMB Transportation. But uh, the other day, I uh, got word from uh, Mr. J. Canal, because he knew that uh, me and me and this person talked. But uh, he asked me, what, uh, what'd you do to uh, piss this guy off? Of course, I had no idea what he was talking about. And uh, he says, yeah, it's 
put something up on uh, his Facebook saying something about the uh, the bigger YouTubers on uh, the bigger trucker YouTubers um, are like making crappy content and something about all they really care about is making money, which is absolutely laughable. Uh, apparently, he's extremely misinformed and. Uh, too lazy to actually go look up facts about having the amount of subscribers that we do and what kind of money that comes with it, which I promise you guys is not a lot. And uh, I guess in general, just on YouTube, even even guys like uh, no, I mean there's different things with all of us, and obviously different. It's it's hard to explain to someone how much you make on YouTube. Because it changes with how many views you get, how long people watch your videos, even on the stuff that we have zero control over, like the kind of advertisements that YouTube has going on at that time for whatever month. And sometimes I guess it is possible to get fewer views and more money just because of a certain ad that YouTube themselves wants to put on the videos. But anyway, that's uh relevant uh, even I don't understand YouTube all the way it is a big complex machine I don't know if uh, you guys some of you guys uh, think that oh you just make videos and you get paid a bunch of money that is the furthest thing from the truth yes I do make money off of YouTube uh, I tell you what though it's, it's not enough to even make a cell phone payment a month so it's nothing uh, nothing uh, to write home about. There's nothing I can quit my job over by any means. But uh, even uh, some of the larger ones than me even, like, uh, you know, people who have 3,500, 10,000, 15,000, even those numbers, I'm talking about subscribers by the way, even those kind of numbers and they get, you know, a couple thousand views on every single video. Even those kind of numbers isn't really enough to quit your job over. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. But anyway, this person. Back to this person now. Back to this person. He uh, after I found out, he kind of accused uh, all of us uh, of not caring about our videos, and just putting whatever crap on camera just to put up for people to watch just so we get paid money it's kind of low and then I tried to call this individual and he didn't answer and then, then I uh, sent him text messages and I was pretty angry because this is somebody that someone that I even defended before he, uh, he's just by nature a very very negative person about everything he's the kind of guy that you can show him anything and something awesome and he, he'll find a flaw in it you know and it's in his mind it's some kind of like I don't know righteous entitlement and I say oh this is the truth and this is how it is and if you don't like it we shouldn't be friends so, well we aren't friends anymore you know I don't I definitely want to stick up for uh, people who find negative and everything I, mean, uh, I believe you'll uh can have a much uh, much more fulfilling, happy life if you try to find the good in things rather than the negative. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. You know, I mean, it just came up, and you know, I mean, I've heard stuff like this before on uh, some other YouTube channels. And, you know, it's it's hard. It is it is pretty difficult to make content every day or every week or whatever you do have to be kind of creative with it and uh, you know that's why a lot of times people will ask uh, a lot of youtubers will ask uh, you guys what do you want to see give me some questions you know uh, what do you want my next video to be on sometimes just thinking up of an idea to make a video is enough of a challenge by itself and that's not including making the video and editing the video uploading the video 
you know, everything else, that, uh, all the stuff that you guys don't see that's involved in this, you know, and uh, it just kind of kind of rubbed me the wrong way that not only one of my uh, subscribers, someone that probably used to just, I don't know, I don't think he subscribed to me anymore, but someone that used to be in the Red Hard Convoy uh, would accuse me and, uh, you know, we got it kind of a tight little circle here of YouTube truckers uh, accuse us of doing just just in it making videos just to uh, get some money which I mean it's it is it is kind of laughable but you know I just kind of want to let you guys know because I guess I didn't really know anything about that uh, how youtubers get paid until I started making videos and uh, just kind of want to pass along that info to you guys that no we don't make a whole lot of money in fact since I've been doing YouTube I've not recouped uh, the money that I've put into my YouTube channel such as uh, I bought a camera it was I don't know 350 bucks uh, actually my parents for my birthday bought me the GoPro which that's 400 bucks but I guess you don't have to count that since I didn't technically buy it and then uh bought a new laptop, it was a $1,400 laptop, and I bought a video editor, and that was 50 bucks, and add all that up, I, I have not made anywhere near the money to even recoup for what I put into it, which I really don't care if I do either, YouTube to me is something fun, something that, that I can do in some downtime, pass along some information, and make some friends along the way. Honestly, the most fulfilling thing about this whole YouTube thing with me is the response I get from you guys. And and actually, when I when I actually get to meet you guys out here on the road, just earlier today, I was at the uh, the Fly and J in uh, Altoona, Iowa, and I was in the restaurant eating eating a meal. And a couple of friends I hadn't seen in a little while, they actually saw me and told me to come sit at their table and stuff, which was cool. But then there was another guy there, he kind of paused and looked at me and said, Hey, uh, I watch your videos on YouTube. I mean, that right there, when stuff like that happens to me, that is just is absolutely mind-blowing. You know, that is like the coolest thing in my book. Even if I knew I would never make a penny off of YouTube, that stuff happens right there is well, well worth it you know so just wanted to uh, let you guys know that okay most of us I mean I can't speak for everybody you know I mean I almost can but you know I really can't uh, technically but uh, for the most part uh, if someone uh, thinks they're gonna start making YouTube videos as some kind of get-rich-quick scheme or some kind of money mogul could you make YouTube videos or something that um, that is the, the furthest thing from the truth and those people who actually think that and start making videos usually give up really fast because they realize the money sucks all right just dropped my trailer off a little bit ago uh, over at the Tyson here in Ottawa I uh, bobtailed here to the Walmart Always nice to find a Walmart with some truck parking. It's convenient. So I think I'm gonna go buy just a couple things that I need. And I'm gonna go to sleep for a little while. Not sure what I'm doing tomorrow yet, but uh, I should find out here not too long. And uh, you guys will find out in the next vlog. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, if you're new to the channel, which I know there's a lot of uh, new people, see a lot of new subscribers I appreciate that so thanks for watching if you are new to the channel and you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button it does help me out a lot and like the video if you enjoyed it and uh, yeah that's it until next time guys stay safe out there and uh, run hard and get paid